everybody, I'm Donna Brousseau. Today we're going to give a little makeover to one of my favorite appetizers, and that is pot stickers. Now, pot stickers are a traditional dish that's served in China on the New Year's. So you gather your whole family together, and you all sit around for about three or four hours, make all the pot stickers, and then after midnight, you indulge in them. So we're going to have a really lean, healthy version today, because I'm going to use ground turkey. Now, I've got the skinless, low-sodium ground turkey, and I'm just going to break it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add in my veggies. Now I'm using Napa cabbage. You can also use lettuce. Okay? Some green onions, some mushrooms for a great source of fiber and flavor, and then some garlic, of course. Ginger, fantastic for our immune system. We're using some low sodium soy sauce. Soy sauce can be really high in sodium, so always look for the low sodium version. Then I've got some sesame oil, a little bit. Rice wine vinegar, just give it a nice little pop, a little bit of lemon juice, and that's it. I'm just going to mix it all together. You can add anything you want. If you want to do shrimp, you can add shrimp instead of the turkey, or you can even make it vegetarian friendly by adding maybe some carrots and some peppers. It's really up to you. And if you get your family involved in the making, then, I don't know, I find that they'll have a tendency to eat it then. So let's just put this off to the side, okay? And then I'm going to show you how to use our wrappers. Now, I've got the round wrappers. Some grocery stores sell them. They come in a little package like this. They're either in your freezer section or usually where the fruits and veggies because they like to keep them chilled. Now, if you don't buy the round ones, you can actually get square ones and just use a biscuit cutter to cut them out. Now, they're really paper thin, so I just want to take a couple out here. So I'm just going to lay out a few. I'm going to run my finger around the edges. I've dipped it in some water, like this. Okay. And then what you want to do is put a heaping teaspoonful of filling right into the center. So I'm just going to take some filling, put it in the center. You don't want to overfill them because you don't want them to pop and break open when you're cooking them. I'm just going to turn my pan down. I'm heating up a tablespoon of olive oil to cook them in. So let's just get a couple more here. Now, traditionally, when you do dumplings, you do a pleated fold. But I'm going to do a real easier version. So all we're going to do is just gather up the edges and close it off on the top. So you just want a flat bottom, okay? So just do that. Okay. I absolutely love the smell of sesame oil. Sesame oil is a really interesting oil to work with because it has a really high smoke point. Just put this in here. Now, pot stickers get the name because they're different than steamed dumplings because they actually have oil and they're fried just a little bit, and the name meant that they would stick to the bottom of the pot. And then what you do is you add water into it to finish off the cooking process. Okay? Okay. So let's just do a few more here just to show you how they're made. Now, if you have the whole family in this, it would be a lot easier to do. Okay, dip my finger around again. Okay, now what you want to do is make sure they're nice and flat, and then you're just going to put them into the bottom of your pan. Okay? You don't want to overcrowd your pan, so as you guys can see, I've just got to, I'm just going to turn the heat back up. So you just want them to cook like that till they get nicely browned on the bottom for about three to five minutes. I'll just make a few more while they're cooking. Okay. You can also use, I've, I've made pot stickers out of almost anything that I had. Really great way to use leftovers. I've even done ones with eggs, so I did a breakfast pot sticker once. Okay, so let's just put a little tablespoon. You can see once you get the hang of it, it's pretty quick to do. All right, now our pot stickers are just cooking. I can see they're getting nice and browned. Turn the heat up a little bit more. Now, you can use a non-stick pan if you want. I like to use just a regular pan. Um, I just find they get a lot browner on the bottom. So let's just fold these up again. Now 
Now in China, a lot of times, the pot stickers, that was the only time in the whole year that they actually got to indulge in meat. So it's always considered a very special thing to have pot stickers with your family. Now these little guys, they're an innocent appetizer because they only have about 34 calories each and hardly any fat at all. And sometimes when we're, when we're kind of sneaking around that hors d'oeuvre plate at a party, those little innocent bites that we're eating cannot be so innocent. So let's just get these in. Okay, so I'll just show you the bottom of one of these. You can see it's beautifully browned. Then all you want to do is put a little bit of water into it. How easy is that? Okay? I'm just going to take this off to the side. Finish rolling this one up here. Now, the sauce that you want to make, we've just made a really easy dipping sauce, just with some soy sauce, some ginger, a little low sodium soy. Okay? So I'm just going to turn that down a tiny bit, and I'm just going to go and get us a plate. Okay, so this should be done now, so let me just take the lid off. You know about five minutes. What you're looking for is for them to be no longer painted inside, and they look absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to get my plate. Okay, and I'm just going to put a few on my plate. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of my sauce on here. And there you have it. A really healthy and delicious appetizer full of nutrition without the guilt. So remember, it's not always about what we can do, it's about what we can. So check out www.donabrusso.com for this recipe and more healthy makeovers of our favorite dishes.